Oscars. Three to shoot. And Hepburn hits. How about that, Trent? Again, Chucky's really good friend, a person he called a brother who passed away in the wee hours of Monday morning. And he's becoming tougher inside as well as the kickout goes to Mayen for Nebraska. Derek Walker Jr. has got plenty of toughness down low for the Huskers. And the reverse around Crowell. And a lot of the players have pink shoelaces with the red shoes. And that's where Nebraska, Fred Hoberg told us yesterday, they got to finish possessions, got to finish with the rebound. Wisconsin's got a size advantage. And nice. That 20-point game he had against Indiana was his fifth 20-point game of the season, but first against a Big Ten team. He continues to improve. Brad Davison now has tied Bronson Koenig for most three-pointers in Wisconsin program history. You certainly hit plenty of three-pointers in your career at Illinois and overseas. Brad Davison, a record-setting three-pointer. Brad Davison has had some outstanding games on the road against Nebraska inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. Alonzo Verge Jr. doesn't care. He's got six points after that layup. Two seasons ago in this gymnasium, hit eight three-pointers in a single game to tie another Wisconsin program record. Hepburn's got another from the wing. Six points for Chucky Hepburn. Didn't force it, pulled up, gave, took what the defense gave him. Brad Davison getting booed now, and he spits on that. Another triple for Brad Davis. Multiple guys in there swiping with their arms, digging down. Great defense. Ben Carlson too tall for Casey Tominaga, but he missed the layup. Brad Davison knocks down another three. Well, great heads up play from Chris Vogt. The best time to shoot a three is off an offensive rebound, kicked it right out, and you know Brad Davison knows what to do with it. Verge draws the foul and one. That's on Bowman of Wisconsin. Wisconsin has averaged 78 points per game over their last eight and on pace with a 39-point first half. Lat Mayen all alone with a two-hand flush and Nebraska down six. Brad Davison had the 17-point first half. Wisconsin swings it around. Johnny Davis scoreless in the first half. Two points in the second. Waters of pro basketball. Davison quarterbacks that up to Carlson who flushes it down. On the tip, Trey McGowan's tipped it to Wiltshire. Bryce McGowan's back to Wiltshire. He had his pocket picked. Johnny Davis with the larceny. And Davis with the finish. Johnny Davis. Spin cycle and a jam. This game was originally scheduled for Tuesday, but Nebraska was just coming out of COVID protocol. So it was bumped to Thursday, and Alonzo Verge Jr. with the layup. He's into double figure. You know, kind of sign of life on the offensive end for Nebraska. Wisconsin's been so good on that end of the floor. Nice drive by Verge using his quickness. And Chucky Hepburn with a burst. One of the highest scoring true freshmen in the country. Bryce McCowan's for three. Missed off the back iron. Another rebound for Walker. Lat Mayen. Skip pass to Trey McGowan's who lays it in. And I think Nebraska could force even more by just extending it, making it a 94 game, uh, a 94 foot game. Bryce McGowan's for three. Bryce McGowan's guarded by Johnny Davis. High off the glass over the seven footer, Stephen Crowell. If I'm Nebraska, I'm going to test that. I'm going to go at him. Great defense by Tyler Wall on the inbounds pass defense, and it leads to a transition bucket. But an easy bucket for the Badgers to go up 11. Poked away by Chucky Hepburn. Ah! The flush. Yeah, Wisconsin's defense this second half has been just rock solid. And it's, it's all five of them on the court. There. Badgers work the shot clock. Brad Davison with the layup. 19 for Davison. Into Johnny Davis. What a pass from Brad Davison. 
Final possession for Nebraska, Bryce McGowans. Now are you going to say he's padding his stats, Trent? <laughs> you got to play it through. I love that Brad Davidson goes get the ball and, and knocks down free throws. Wisconsin 73, Nebraska 65, the final. Oh, <laughs>